it's two types and when it comes to the Christian community, two types of people. You have the one that believes in God and then you have the one that lives for God. A lot of us, you know, the people that you're going to run across are the ones who believe in God. Meaning, I believe God. I believe that he created the world and, you know, he, the higher power. I believe in what the Bible be saying. Some of that stuff coming true. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got no problem with it. But your thing is, you don't want to live for God. Meaning, I don't want to sacrifice nothing. I just want God to benefit me. Yeah, I'm coming for the blessings. Yeah, I'm coming for the healing. You got a good word for me? Lord, you got this for me? I'm coming for that. But don't ask me to change nothing about myself because you're supposed to love me. That's the one that just believe in God. Then the one that lives for God is the one that say, I lay down, you know, and be a sacrifice. And I turn from my sins, even the ones that I'm okay with. And the one that live for God, you gonna know when you meet these people. You know who actually living for God. You know, we're not talking about nobody perfect who don't get mad. That's been a stereotype when it comes to Christians. You know what I'm saying? The, they don't get mad. We yes mans or yes women and, you know, we're right highly favored. No, nah, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's been that thing on us. So, the one that lives for God is saying, okay. I've been rocking with God. I see how faithful God is. Like you took, you took your, your your relationship, your journey serious. So now you're getting to see different sides of God that makes you want to be loyal. Have you ever met somebody that was so, you know, loyal to you? They was reliable. They always showed you grace and mercy. They never talked bad about you. So now you just want to do right by them because they do right by you. That's that relation. That's that person who want who lives for God because they experience God on a deeper level to where I gotta show you respect, and not only respect, I have to show you obedience because you done blessed me and done so much for me when I know it went nobody but you pulling the strings, making things happen, making things possible in my life. Like I say, it become a genuine, genuine relationship. You know what I'm saying? See, I know a lot of people don't want to deal with religion. And you say, you know, God come to bring a relationship. But some of y'all don't even have a relationship. Because if if God ain't made you want to turn from your sin, then it's possible that your relationship ain't going as deep as you think it is. Because the more you go with God, I promise you, he'll make you turn on sin. Because your vision becomes like his vision. When you look at the world, you will start to see how corrupt it is. The same things you used to enjoy, you will realize this ain't right. I promise you. When they say, hang around people that's going places. You know what I'm saying? Then you're going to start, your mindset going to shift. You're going to start seeing how they see to get your way to success. So they say you hang around people that ain't doing that. And guess what? You're going to end up not doing that. So think about if you spend the time in God's presence. Come on, y'all. Come on. If you spend that time in God's presence and gain and knowledge and wisdom and seeing the world from the, his view, his lens, you will start to see how corrupt it is. And you will already pull yourself from there and say, I don't want to have nothing to do with it. You know what I'm saying? That's why he, they talk about I was blind, but now I see. That is a real thing, y'all. I experienced that now. Young person. Young person. I experienced that. Being blind. But now, when you take off that veil off your eyes, you get to see all the things that you was, you know what I'm saying, a part of. And you be like, that ain't it. It don't matter what it was. If it's not righteous, you be like, that's nasty. And just like being around people like nasty attitudes, you might have been hanging out with people that used to talk bad about people, do things, you know, whatever it was. And you start seeing this, the stuff that was funny, you be like, that ain't funny. You know what I'm saying? Your heart, when you be around God, you you start to really walk in his image. That's why they talk about being Christ-like, having taken on his character traits. That's why when you hang around other people that's negative, this net, you start to, those spirits start to get on you. But when you hang with God, all his spirits, all his knowledge and stuff get on you. So now you start to walk in his image. That's what the relationship is supposed to look like. It ain't supposed to just be conditional to where I only love God as long as he let me do what I want to do when I want to do it. That's just condition, not unconditional. You only want God as long as he benefits you. You only want God as long as he heal you. You want God to sacrifice for you, but you don't want to sacrifice nothing for God. So even if we do take religion out of it, the relationship still ain't no good. You will know when somebody done changed for real. And they, they whole life, it just take off in a different direction. And you know it ain't fake. A lot of you, other people that you run into, they just believe in God. Y'all just share that belief, but it, it ain't no deeper than that. 
And those are the ones that usually be on the front lines. And, and that's the reason why a lot of the time the church looks so bad the way it do. Because these people ain't really gave their life to God. And that's why I did that message before on God talking about he going to deal with these people who leading, who lead the sheep. And they supposed to be the shepherd over the church. That's why he going to deal with them and raise up new people. You will know when somebody done change for real. And they, they whole life, it just take off in a different direction. And you know it ain't fake. A lot of you, other people that you run into, they just believe in God. Y'all just share that belief, but it, it ain't no deeper than that. And those are the ones that usually be on the front lines. And, and that's the reason why a lot of the time the church looks so bad the way it do. Because these people ain't really gave their life to God. And that's why I did that message before on God talking about he going to deal with these people who leading, who lead the sheep. And they supposed to be the shepherd over the church. That's why he going to deal with them and raise up new people. And that's why I say God is so good, you know, because even the Bible warns us about the false prophet, prophets and, you know, just these church leaders who not doing what they supposed to do. And they instead of bringing us into God, they pushing us farther away. And I think I, uh, that came out of Jeremiah when he's going to deal with them. And that's why the Bible talks about raising up a new generation. And I feel like I'm part of that new generation because I had to sit down for many years for the, to go through these uh, trials and tribulations in my life to gain, to get the knowledge and stuff that I have now. I didn't ask for this. I wanted to play basketball. I wanted to do music. That was my, when I finished school, that was my thing. Going to college and doing, playing ball. I finished school. I ended up joining the church and started taking classes. That was not me. But God knew what he wanted to use me for. And I'm okay with that. Because I like to speak life in other people. And I like to help other young people see God the way I see God. Because you don't, a lot of us don't get to see God on that level. You know, a lot of people that grew up with me only know God on that level of, you know, just God and believing and stuff like that. And then being around uh, uh, hypocritical people and their families and they don't see God on no other level. So a lot of them don't have a good relationship with God. You know, it was already screwed up at a young age. Just dealing with a lot of church people who didn't live for God, but just believed in God. And these people do not. You know what I'm saying? They don't lay down their life and they don't they don't allow God to cleanse them from their selfishness, their sins. So they you walk around thinking that these people actually living for God. And then we let them judge our life and then we let them make us feel bad. But the whole time, they don't even be living for God. They be secretly doing stuff, trying to hide. You know what I'm saying? So that done messed up the whole Christian community, all that crap. But you know what? It it needed to be exposed and I'm glad it I'm glad it was. So now later on when you come across somebody that represents Christ, you know whether or not they being real or not. Like I said, they still make mistakes, but you'll know.